Right, so there's a lot of rumours about the new SRAM group set, and it's pretty much more or less confirmed that there probably will be a new SRAM group set coming in soon. It was last released, the Red, in 2019. So a pretty, pretty long time. It was their second gen uh, ETAP. They had ETAP and then they had ETAP Axis. So anyway, this is the new shifter. You see it's quite different, more Shimano-esque, less old school SRAM. If anything, looks like the new rival. And this is uh, Lars Van Haas bike, I believe. So you can see the shifter here. It looks pretty nice to be fair. Like for a hydraulic shifter, it actually looks pretty small. Um, and again, you can see this is what the rival looks like. So very, very similar. And it makes sense. They made rival a new style. The new ones would be the same style. People are saying maybe it's just a rival shifter. I really don't think it is. The thing that's interesting here is that this crank set looks very similar. Obviously, it's not gonna be uh, the, it doesn't have the nice pattern because it's one by and all the rest of it. Um, but the rear derailleur still says red on it. You can see here, it looks almost identical uh, and it's still got a flat top chain. Now I'm gonna go through sort of some other articles first and then I'm gonna kind of speak about what I think SRAM should change. So this is Sheeran Van Onroy, who again has the new shifters. You can see them here, gold, pretty sick. Um, but there are less, again, same picture of the bike but looks, you know, pretty similar stuff. Uh, this is the new Movistar, which again, looks kind of different. If we look at um, this shifter here, and then that shifter there, actually I can just do uh, this. Um, they look slightly different. Um, again, like you can see kind of similar, but kind of different. So maybe they're still trying them. Like if you look where the angle of the hood comes out, in comparison, obviously it could be wound back more, but again, it does look slightly different. Like this bit here doesn't come out like that. That looks more like a GRX shifter, um, which I think is what they compare it to, to be fair. Like if you if you look at this, you know, this is what they say, they're doing two different types. Um, so yeah, cool, they're changing the shifter, but what, what do people actually want from SRAM? Now, I think there's a couple things that obviously would be the, the most useful thing. I think going back to 11 tooth, that would be good. Increases drivetrain efficiency, nice stuff i think going to a standard 12 speed cassette uh you know i don't think the flat top chain and all the rest of it i know they're kind of committed on it it's just slower it it looks stupid like they just look stupid like when you see a picture of it it's like why is my chain square like it just doesn't look good so i think that's one thing that'd be great like go back to you know i know shimano kind of got their uh 12 speed backwards compatible that got a new standard but Honestly, like, you just got to grow up and bin off XDR. It's just terrible. Bin off the chain, that'd be mint. And I reckon that would sort out a lot of problems. Like, I'm kind of a SRAM hater, but both my TT bike and road bike have SRAM, so I don't know how much of a hater I am. I think, obviously, the front derailleur is kind of an issue. It just doesn't work too well, but that's why they went to, like, the 48, like, 32 stuff. So it was a really narrow, uh, like, narrow window. Or not window, but, like, gap so that the front derailleur would work better. So I'd say that's definitely one thing they could do. I think the shifting, the way it's two buttons, I saw some critiques on this. It doesn't mean the rear derailleur is slower because it doesn't, it waits to see if you've done both before it shifts it. But I don't think that's a massive issue. I don't really, I'm not like, oh, my derailleur is too slow. So I quite like the shifting self. I think that's good. Wireless is good, obviously. So I think that would be the main thing for, for the red. 13 speed would be pleasant. But again, I, I don't really see a massive need for it except on one by, if you're two by, two by 12 is pretty good. I'm one by 12 on my TT by two by 12 or two by 11, so I'm a road bike and you know, that, that sort of sorts me out. But yeah, that'd be the main thing I'd say really is just like bin off the stupid chain. Uh, derailleur wise, I, I think the aesthetics of the group set are good, to be honest. I like the silver, I think it, it looks premium. I'd say, again, the other thing would just be to bin off the integrated uh, chain rings. That is stupid, don't do that. Um, but otherwise, I think, to be honest, they've probably got a decent group set. Just, you know, some minor refinements, maybe better braking, things like that. But, yeah, that's what I'd kind of would be on my wish list for SRAM would be, you know, just, just get back to 11 tooths, normal chains, and then, you know, life would be sweet. But anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, hope you did enjoy. Let me know, obviously, what you thought about, about the new hoods and also what you'd like to see from SRAM.